Welcome to Christopher Enoch, part one. What is a Christian? The definition of a Christian. You know, there are many people today who call themselves Christians. Some people believe that a Christian is just simply someone who believes in God. Take it a little bit further than that. Other people say a Christian is someone who believes in God, believes in Jesus, and also believes that Jesus died on the cross, rose again from the dead, and, and that Jesus is the Savior of the world. Some people say that uh, to be a Christian is to go to church, or a Christian is someone who goes to church. There are even people who believe that Christianity is based upon an ethnic, ethnic group, such as the whites. Um, for example, they say lot, some people think that all or ma the majority of white people are Christian. Some people think they are a Christian because they were born in a quote and unquote Christian family. Other people say, well, I'm a Christian because I believe in Jesus and I pray. And I pray to God. The majority of Christians can quote one of the most popular Christian verses in the Bible, which is John 3, 16, which says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. A Christian is someone who believes in Jesus. But what does the word believe really mean? What is wrapped up in that word believe? In John 3.16 where it says that whosoever believes in him will have everlasting life. The word believes comes from a Greek word which is the, the word pastuo. Now the Bible, uh, at least the book of John, was written, originally written in Greek. So in order to come to a fuller understanding of what the word believeth is, we must look at our trusty little Greek lexicon. This is Thayer's Greek lexicon. A Greek-English lexicon of the New Testament by Thayer. We look under the word prestuo, the, the same word that's translated believes, in, in saying that whosoever believes in Jesus will have everlasting life. This is what it says here. So what is the, what is the definition of believe? To have a faith directed unto believing or in faith to give oneself up to Jesus. In another part here. Pastuo means those who acknowledge Jesus as the Savior and devote themselves to him. So here we see an even deeper meaning of the word Christian. All those things that I just mentioned about, you know, believing in God, believing in, in, in Jesus in a, in, a, in a historical sense, all those things that I say that a lot of people say they believe they're Christian because they, you know, they, they go to church or they pray. A lot of those kind of things. Even the devil does those things. Let me explain. The book of James in the Bible says, you believe there is one God? Good. Even the demons believe. Even the devils believe and tremble. So you believe in God? Good. But what are you doing more than Satan himself? Will you say that there's um, that Jesus lived and you believe that he lived? You believe that he died on the cross? You believe that he rose again? Good. Even the devil knows that. To say that there is a God, the devil knows that. To say there is to believe there is a, a there was a, a person by the name of Jesus. The devil knows that. The devil believes that. That doesn't do you any good. I mean, that's a, that may be a step, you know, past maybe, you know, atheism or agnosticism. But that's that's that really doesn't save your soul. You believe in the historical facts. So does the devil. Now, watch this. You you say you're a Christian because you pray. You some people might say I'm a Christian. I pray every night. 
Well, you know what? Guess what? This is going to take you by surprise, but the devil prays too. Let me explain. It says in the book of Job that the devil had a conversation with God, like a, like a conversation with God. You know, God spoke to the devil, the devil spoke to, to, to God, and God spoke to the devil, and the devil spoke to God. Now, that's, that is what a lot of people call prayer, okay? When Jesus walked the earth, the demons had conversations with, with Jesus, you know. The devil had a, had a talk with Jesus, you know. The devil even prayed in that sense, okay? So that just having a conversation with God, just saying your prayers, just coming before God and, 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 and just, you know, talking to God and communi- communicating with, uh, to him, even if you hear back from him, does that make you a Christian? The answer is no. Because the devil even does that. So then what does make you a Christian? And we alluded to this a few minutes ago. In the Greek word pastuo, it says the word believeth or believes, those who believe in him will have everlasting life, means devotion, complete trust, totally convicted and, and convinced that Jesus is your Savior. So a true Christian is someone who believes in Jesus. Yes. What does it mean to believe in Jesus? It means to to give your life to him, to lay your life into his hands, to dedicate yourself wholly, 100% to Jesus, to devote yourself 100% to Jesus. And so what does that mean? That means that we must obey him we must believe what it says in 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 the scriptures what jesus said what he taught and we must follow those teachings now let's boil it all down and jesus did this himself he said of all the law now when he says law he means all of the rules and regulations in the bible all of the law and all of the prophets is all summed up in this it all boils down to this there are two greatest commandments there's the first greatest commandment and the second greatest commandment the first greatest commandment is thou shalt love the lord thy god with all thy heart thy soul thy mind and thy strength you shall love the lord your god with all your heart soul mind and strength and the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. You shall love others as yourself. What does it look like to love the Lord God with all your heart, all your soul, all your strength, all your mind? There was a church in a country that was quite hostile to Christian to Christians and into Christianity. And there was uh, a number of believers that used to meet in this place and, and worship the Lord uh, in a Christian style of worship. Now, they locked the doors in fear of the authorities breaking in and, and arresting them and maybe even killing them for their faith. And lo and behold, one day, their fears became a reality. The doors busted were busted open and soldiers walked in with guns and they said that we are here to kill every christian every one of you that will not renounce jesus if you refuse to deny christ you will die and they said we will give you an opportunity to renounce him, one last opportunity to renounce Jesus, to deny him, to renounce Christianity. And if you want to renounce Christianity, if you want to deny him and live, walk out the door. As you can imagine, a lot of people rushed towards the door. But there was a core group of people that says, I will not renounce Jesus We will not renounce our faith in Christ. No matter what it takes, we are staying here to the end. We're going to stick this through. The soldiers locked the doors again. 
those few that were left braced for death. Astonishingly, surprisingly, the soldiers put their guns down. They, s they look like, what is going on? You know, the people there, what is going, why are you putting your guns down? Aren't you going to shoot us? The soldier said, we are Christians too. We just want to worship with real Christians. Let's get on with the service. That, my friend, is what a Christian really is. That, my friend, is what Christianity is all about. Anything less than that is not worthy of Jesus. So, my friend, let us pray. Let us be encouraged. Let us be bold and strong so that we would do what those Christians did in that church. That we would have faith strong enough and we would have courage strong enough to stand up for Jesus and to say, I will never, ever, ever renounce him. I love him way too much. That, my friend, is true Christianity. <laughs>